All right. Listen, guys. This podcast is named Stop Trying to Figure Things Out. I'm going to repeat the title of this podcast. Stop Trying to Figure Things Out. You see? Truth being told, you all, the problem with many of you who are listening to this podcast is, is that you want to figure things out. You want to know how you can impact the future to bring comfort to yourself to, and to avoid danger and discomfort. You see? And you are already holding on to a certain pattern in your thinking on how you can diagnose danger and avoid it. And how you can diagnose people that are in harmony with your thinking patterns so you can get along with them. You are so busy and occupied with trying to figure things out. And listen, you need to let it go. It's causing you a lot of stress. A lot of, it's bringing you a lot of stress, a lot of worry. And it's causing you your happiness of today, your joy of today, your peace of mind of today, your rest of today. And does it cancel out the traumas, traumas and difficulties and afflictions of the future? No, it doesn't. So what are you gaining with trying to figure everything out? You aren't gaining anything that's worth gaining. You are only gaining curses, demonic attachments, and broken relationships. That's what you gain with it. Stop seeing your way through, as they would say it in a getaway. Stop doing that. See, did, did not the Old Testament, did not the Bible make clear that you have to trust the Lord with all your heart and you should never lean on your own understanding? Didn't Jesus say to, to, to not worry about what you will eat nor drink or clothe yourself with? And to take no thought for your life? And didn't the, didn't the New Testament also make clear that we should cast all our cares upon God because he's taking care of us? Now, why aren't you doing it then? Well, truth being told, you're, you don't trust God. You see? I'm just being real. The reason why you're not doing this is because you don't trust God. Because you're not really following Christ. You still have the world as your goal. You still have worldly goals, worldly ties, and worldly this, worldly that. So you are basically an enemy of God because you're holding on to a lie. You're not in line with the Most High. That's why you don't trust the Most High, because the Most High does not operate according to those worldly patterns that you are going after. So because you can't get those worldly processes from the Most High, you don't trust Him. You think that you know it much better than the Most High Himself. That's pride and blasphemy. Okay? So, what should you do? You have to repent. You have to humble yourself. Okay? Acknowledge. You don't know what will happen tomorrow. You simply don't know. Okay? You don't. You also don't know how your life will be tomorrow. You don't know if... No, 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 let, let, let me go a little bit deeper with this. Worrying. A lot of people are addicted to worrying. Why? Because when you worry about something, it's basically focusing all the attention upon yourself. Because that's why you're magnifying the problem instead of magnifying the creator who's the savior and redeemer and deliverer. Think about this. Every time you're, you are faced with something you cannot handle, you have two options. Either you give it up to the Most High, or you are playing God yourself, and because you're not God, and because you can't handle it, now you're mourning. 
why you as a little god cannot handle this. So it's all about you. That's what worrying is. Worrying is idolatry. Look, people. Am I telling you now to be out of your mind and to waste all your money? Am I telling you to just quit your job and walk around on the streets? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying, however, is that you need to trust God. You cannot figure out life. You can't. You need the Most High to guide you, to protect you, and to open ways for you. Folks, and look at this. I see this happen over and over again. People that are worrying and getting upset about stuff, also what? about the actions of others, why are you upset? Because they have an exp- a negative expectation about reality. And now they, and don't listen to this, they have a negative expectation about reality and about others. So when stuff happens that, in, that they interpret it as, you know, let's take like this, they have negative expectations about reality and negative expectations about others. So when something happens, they interpret it as, okay, now this negative thing is going to happen. They keep on stressing, fighting, and fussing about the negative thing that they expect that that would happen. And most of the time, those negative things never happen. They never take place. It's just vain imaginations in their mind. Yet... Those people are so dedicated to their dysfunctional thinking patterns that they will defend the stressing, the worrying, and let me say the paranoia. They will defend it. You see? I even had a guy tell me, I love stress. I was thinking, what? How can you love stress? Are you sick? Well, that same guy, years after, he has heart problems now and is only somewhere in his 30s. You see? But why? He's also a very narcissistic human being and it's all about him. So when he can't handle something, he needs to find a way to still get all the attention to him to hide the fact that he can't handle it. And helping such an individual is not advice to do because it will lash out against you. Because you helping them is a sign that they are wrong. And they don't want that. They rather stress and ruin themselves and harming others than to be real. Listen, I'm going to end this audio clip now because I don't have to talk long about this. Stop saying your way through. Stop trying to figure things out. Be humble. Give the love to God and follow his guidance. The Lord Jesus Christ will never disappoint you. Never. I can testify about that. He never disappoints. And he always has much better in store than you can ever imagine. Well, that being said, you all, be at peace.